So in this case, we need to use product rule. So we're going to use product rule. I'm going to take this term to be u and the remaining term ln hyperbolic tan 2x to be v. So all of this is one term. So I'm going to use the product rule. So remember, by product rule, so the result is dy over dx, that is v du by dx plus u dv over dx. Let me do a side calculation. So let's calculate du over dx and dv over dx. So u is 2x squared, du by dx, so when I differentiate, when I differentiate 2x squared, that is 4x. Let's do another side calculation. So v is ln hyperbolic tan 2x. Let me calculate dv over dx. So if I differentiate ln hyperbolic tan 2x, it's 1 over hyperbolic tan 2x multiplied by the derivative of hyperbolic tan 2x. So be careful when you work out the derivative of that function. Remember, when we differentiate hyperbolic tan, it's hyperbolic sec squared. So it's hyperbolic sec squared 2x. But you need to multiply by the derivative of 2x, which is 2. So that follows a chain rule. So just to continue, dv over dx, if we simplify, 2 times hyperbolic sec squared 2x times 1 is 2 hyperbolic sec squared 2x and divided by, not forgettingly, hyperbolic tan 2x. So this is dv over dx. So if I replace our side calculation results into the product rule itself, that would make dy over dx, that's equal to v, which is, in this case, uh, ln hyperbolic tan 2x, so that's v, times du over dx, which is 4x, plus u, which is 2x squared, times dv over dx, which is 2 hyperbolic sec squared 2x, divided by hyperbolic tan 2x. So further to that, if we multiply the brackets, so we're going to have 4x times ln hyperbolic tan 2x, that is 4x ln hyperbolic tan 2x, plus 2 times 2x squared is 4x squared, hyperbolic sec squared 2x over hyperbolic tan 2x. So you could take out a common factor of 4x if you wanted to. So dy over dx will be taking out a common factor okay, of 4x should give you ln hyperbolic tan 2x plus x hyperbolic sex squared 2x divided by hyperbolic tan 2x. So that should be uh, the solution.